Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you all are doing well. Today I'm doing a haul. It's sort of a collective haul. I've been ordering things the past couple weeks and they're all in now so I thought I would go ahead and share them with you guys. And since I have sort of collected them over the past couple weeks, I have been using these. So I'm going to go ahead and give you my initial thoughts on them and let you all um, just know how I feel about them. So hopefully this video is going to be helpful and I hope you all enjoy it. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started started. The first thing I ordered were, um, I, f I ordered a few things from Ulta, and the main thing I got was the Lorac Pro Palette 2. Um, you all have seen this probably a million times, and I love my original Lorac Pro Palette. I think it's a great value. Um, I think the matte shades are just phenomenal, so I definitely love the layout of Lorac Pro Palettes. You get um, eight shimmer shades and then eight matte shades, and so far I've absolutely loved this palette. I was a little slow to get it just because I didn't think if the colors were, they're sort of out of my comfort zone, but the more I've worked with it, the more I absolutely love it, so I'm really glad um, I have this palette. I'll show it to you all again. Um, the only thing I just the only little tiny con I have about it is that these do seem to have more fallout than the original Pro Palette. I think because there are more sort of colored shades in this palette, but that's not a big deal. You know, just take a makeup wipe and remove it. But um, that's the only sort of con I have about this palette. But overall, I'm absolutely loving it. So um, moving on to the next two things I got from Ulta. Um, Maybelline came out with their matte lipstick line, and I heard just a ton of great things about it, and mattes do seem to sort of be on trend this season, so I went ahead and picked up two. Um, I got Touch of Spice and Divine Wine, and I'll go ahead and swatch them for you. Um, Touch of Spice is a, well, both of these seem to be more brown toned than I was expecting, but I do really like them. In fact, I've been wearing Touch of Spice like nonstop this, uh, ever since I got it. So, okay. So on the left, you have Touch of Spice, which is kind of that Kylie Jenner lip color. It's sort of a mauve muted rose color um, with some brown undertones. And then this is Divine Wine, and it's sort of a deep wine color, but it is more brown based than I was expecting. But I do really love these lipsticks. They wear really well. Um, they don't overly dry out your lips, but they do like stay matte. So I absolutely love these, and I know they have been kind of hard to get um, a hold of, especially in drugstores, but um, if you order them from Ulta, I think that's your best bet, because I've every time I've seen them in drugstores, usually like a few shades are out. So I would order them from Ulta um, and wait until Maybelline's like, buy one, get one half off. That's what I did. And so you get both of these for like $12, which is a great deal. So really been loving these and definitely recommend them to anyone who is looking for a great matte lipstick for fall. The next things I got were from MAC. Um, I've sort of been into that Kylie Jenner lip trend that's just everywhere. <laughs> so I went ahead and picked up the Soar lip liner from MAC. I heard that this is the actual shade that she uses. I think that was, I think I got that from a Pixie Woo video where she said she had talked to Kim Kardashian and um, that was what she said. But I got this one and it's my first MAC lip liner and so far I've really been loving it. Um, you can be really precise with them but they're still really creamy. So I really love this one so far and I have been pairing it with a touch of spice but um, it almost makes it like too brown for me. But I'll go ahead and swatch it for you just so you can see. So there you have the... Um, the Soar Lip Liner, and then there's Touch of Spice and Divine Wine again. But I have definitely been loving this. And then I got one lipstick. They MAC came out with a matte collection as well, and I saw this shade um, swatched on Tintalia, and I was like, I have to have that. <laughs> so there is Fashion Revival. My camera's not really picking it up, but it's really like a deep berry color. It's so beautiful. And it reminds me a lot of MAC Rebel. If you all like that shade and want a matte version, um, I definitely recommend Fashion Revival if you can still get it. But let me show you side by side. So there's Rebel, and it's kind of a deep berry color, but it is a satin formula, so um, Fashion Revival sort of it looks a little bit darker, but honestly, on the lips, they look like identical, except one is matte. So, um, that's just the couple things I got from MAC. 
And apparently I've been obsessed with lip products this month because I also went ahead and ordered the 1995 lipstick uh, from Gerard Cosmetics. Jaclyn Hill, if you all watch her, if you don't, she's she's phenomenal. She's one of my favorite people to watch. Um, she created this lipstick kind of for the whole Kylie Jenner lip trend um, that's just so everywhere. Um, she created this lipstick and um, as you can see, it's like a deep... <sighs> I don't even know how to describe it. It's definitely that mauve -y color, but it's very brown, and it's actually on the lips, it's very red. Like, I was surprised at how red it was. Um, it's, it's a good color, but it's just like, it's very noticeable. It's not sort of that natural matte that I was kind of expecting. It's more like a deep red brown color. So, I've been loving this as well. The only complaint I have about this is it's a matte formula, but when I first got it, I found it very hard to work with. It just seemed like it went on patchy and I couldn't get it right. But after I sort of like broke through that initial phase, it worked really well for me. So I do, if you're interested in getting this, I do recommend it, but don't like be discouraged when you first get it and are like, oh my gosh, like this isn't working at all. Cause that was what happened to me. But now that I've sort of been wearing it, it it's doing better for me. So <laughs> so that's what I have to say about that. And then the last thing I picked up, I'm actually like super excited about. Um, it's the, oh my gosh, the sun just came through the clouds. Um, it's the Lorac Mega Pro Palette. Um, there was a lot of confusion over the launch of this, but I was able to get my hands on it. And I'm absolutely in love with it. The colors are just gorgeous, and I feel like if you just need a bunch of staple colors in your collection, you will love this. The main reason I got it was for the matte shades. I just was so impressed with just the variety of them, and I picked it up, and I'm so glad I did. The shimmers are so beautiful, and they do range in finish from just like a satin to a shimmer to like even a few glitters. So I definitely really love this palette and I know that Amazon just did a restock. So if you're interested in picking this up and couldn't get it the first couple times, I would suggest going to Amazon and seeing if you can get your hands on it. All right guys, that's been my haul. I'm sorry about the sun. It just came in and is blinding me. <laughs> but I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And let me know in the comments down below what products you're gonna pick up this holiday season. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.